And welcome back, friends, for Reading Time with CJ. Thank you so much for joining me today so that we can read and explore more books together. So today we have a really fun book. It's a biography book, and it's called Little People, Big Dreams. Astrid Lindgren, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigara, illustrated by Lindsay Hunter. And this book is published by Quattro Nose. Are you ready to read along with me? Let's go. Little People, Big Dreams, Astrid Lindgren, written by Maria Isabel Sanchez Vigara, illustrated by Lindsay Hunter. And this book is published by Quarto Nose. Little Astrid lived with her parents and siblings on an old farm near Vimmerby, a small town in Sweden. Her childhood was very happy, so happy that she never wanted to grow up. When she was four, her friend Edith read Astrid a story. In an instant, the room was filled with giants, witches, and fairies. They appeared from an object she hadn't really seen before, a book. Astrid did her best to learn how to read. Once she started, she couldn't stop. For her, books were almost unbearably wonderful. Before long, she had read her way through the library's collection. One morning, she woke up with a terrible feeling. Life suddenly seemed so complicated, and she didn't want to play with toys as she always had. Astrid was growing up. But being a young adult meant that she could be a rebel. Astrid was the first girl in town to cut her hair short. She then landed her first job at a newspaper. At age 19, she became a single mom when her son Lars was born. After a while, Astrid got married and had a second child named Karen. Astrid was no ordinary mother. She loved playing, just like a child, and was great at inventing stories. One night, Karen got sick and asked her mother for a get well story about Pippi Longstocking, a funny name she had just made up. What a remarkable name, Astrid thought. She must be a remarkable girl too. Pippi was more than remarkable. She was everything a child wanted to be. She lived alone with a monkey and a horse in Vilkula, her own cottage. She was free, happy, fearless, and the strongest girl in the world. For many years, Astrid made up stories about Pippi for Karen and all her friends. For Karen's 10th birthday, Astrid put them down on a paper as a present for her. From beginning to end, Pippi's stories were delightful. She was wise, honest, and wild. As soon as the first book was published, she became a heroine for readers all around the world. Astrid wrote many novels and picture books about Pippi which were translated into more than a hundred languages. When Pippi made it to TV screens, Astrid worked on the screenplays, which became an important part of her work. She created dozens of other memorable characters, like Rasmus, Ronja, Emil, and Lotta. Astrid received the highest recognition for her contribution to the world of books two Hans Christian Andersen medals. A Russian astronomer even named a planet in her honor, Planet 3204 Lindgren. And still today, little Astrid, the girl who never wanted to grow up, lives in our heads and hearts when anyone reads Peepee Longstocking, who is always up for some fun.
and I hope you enjoyed this book, Girls and Boys, of Astrid Lindgren. And if you'd like to purchase this book for your collection at home, you can do so by finding the link in my description box below. Thank you so much for joining me, and please come and see me next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>